What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Kiwis bringing you guys another Fortnite Battle Royale video and guys there is some insane news going on in the Fortnite community right now. I've seen a lot of people make videos on this so I thought I might as well do the same since a lot of people are asking me about my thoughts and opinions on this and what I believe. There's so many different opinions on this and I feel like my opinion is definitely a different opinion than most people so and I'm also just gonna kind of explain my thoughts and I don't know a, a lot of you people might kind of disagree with me which is fine we we can agree to disagree you know it's totally cool but if you guys don't know already Ready. Uh, FaZe Jarvis was actually permanently banned from Fortnite. Like, I mean, permanently banned. As far as I know, he, this man is literally banned for life. He can't even make another account. If he makes another account and Epic Games finds out, that will also get banned. He can't go to Fortnite events. He can't play in Fortnite tournaments. Anything Fortnite, he can't do anymore. He's banned forever which is insane there's there's no it's not like in five months or a year from now it's uplifted literally forever he is lifetime banned unless epic games revokes that or gives him a lighter sentence but we're just gonna play like a solo game while i talk about this or whatever and kind of just get my thoughts across so jarvis actually made a video earlier today and it's him talking about why he got banned and how he's sorry and everything and i, I watched the full entire video because I, I wanted to watch the video before i actually said anything about it because you know i don't i don't know you know it could be anything but i watched the video and it's very sad like I mean it's so sad like I, I feel so bad for my guy Jarvis okay and I don't even know Jarvis all right I don't have any relationship with this guy all I know is that we've kind of been in the same community for a while and he's replied to some of my tweets I've replied to some of his tweets you know that's the only time we've ever actually like interacted with each other I'm subbed to him on YouTube I watch his videos sometimes I'm sure he watches some of mine and I actually saw in my sub box the video that got Jarvis banned and for everyone wondering I actually still haven't said why he got banned if you don't know is he got banned for using aimbot and a public game. He downloaded Aimbot, I think on an alternate account, or t I, I don't even remember because I haven't actually seen the video, but he has since deleted the video, so it's not even public anymore. Actually, I think there was two. He deleted them, and they're not even up. Basically, him going into playground mode and solos and just literally just going ham on the whole entire lobby with Aimbot. I mean, it, it is what it is. You downloaded Aimbot, and you started going absolutely sicko mode on the lobby. You know, that that is justified for a ban you know what i mean the thing is though when you watch when you watch jarvis's video you know you can tell when he was making it he did it on an alternate account because he he probably knew that it was probably bad to do i mean obviously you're not supposed to have aimbot or you get banned but when jarvis did it i don't think he knew that he would be getting banned for a lifetime you know what i mean like literally like for life you are banned completely you can't go to any events he, I don't think he understood that, and to be honest, I've never really heard of such an insane punishment come from Epic Games, unless obviously, like, you're the one selling the hacks, or you're, like, doing some crazy, like, some modding or something. I don't know. Like, that's the only time I've ever heard of something this crazy. And Jarvis's whole entire career is literally built on Fortnite. Like, his whole career. Everything that got him to where he is... Is based off of Fortnite. Literally his whole entire livelihood, the money he makes, the friends he has, literally everything. He's spent so much time on the game and to have that just completely ripped away from you in just one day because of, you know, you decided to make a video on aimbot just not because you wanted to win or be you know malicious in doing it but because you thought it would be entertaining for people to watch you thought the content would be good and you know i i can kind of understand that perspective you know being a youtuber you want to create content that a lot of people can't find anywhere else so you get somebody to give you aimbot or whatever and you thought it would be entertaining and people would want to watch the video i get that however it doesn't necessarily justify what he what he did obviously i just feel like maybe he should have been banned for like a couple months to a year maybe even that still seems kind of crazy but i don't think he should have been banned for life and th that's my opinion i know a lot of people are going to be like well he deserved it you know it's in the terms of service and every other video game bans people for life that use aimbot which makes sense and you're right he shouldn't have done it you know you really should have thought it through but, you know, you just watch the video, you just feel so bad for him. It's not like it was just some kid who didn't doesn't care about Fortnite and just downloaded it because he's bad at the game. Jarvis is, like, one of the best players in the world, and he did it just for the content 
not because he wanted to win or be malicious or ruin anybody's chances in winning the game, but I guess just because he thought it would be entertaining and it would be fun to watch. And I totally get that, like I said, being a YouTuber. But once again, he didn't think it through. He, I, I guess he probably assumed that his alternate account would get banned or it would only be, get banned for like a week or I don't know. But literally everything has been taken away from him. And that is just really, really sad. Oh my god, dude, the zombie thing always scares me, bro. Stop. So, there's that, and, you know, he's, like, crying in the video and stuff, and it's so sad. I mean, like, I, I, I'm a pretty empathetic person. Like, I, I really, like, feel what other people are saying, like, and, you know, I wasn't like that when I was younger, but, like, as I get older, I find myself way more empathetic towards people, which is kind of weird, but I guess it's just what happens when you mature and stuff. You know, when you're a kid, you don't really care about but when you get older, you just, I don't know, you start to feel more empathetic towards things and you start to understand other people's perspectives. And But like I said, regardless of how you feel about it, it was wrong, okay? But one thing that I find very unfair or very inconsistent, and a lot of people say you can't compare these two, but the whole Ziff and Ronaldo cheating situation a long time ago, when the World Cup was going on to qualify for, for World Cup, Ziff and Ronaldo like allegedly colluded or whatever and... Oh my god, dude, stop hiding in the corners, bro. They were being fed points by their friends or whatever, and which, which is cheating. They, they were having people literally give them free points, like land on them and then giving them points. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's not fair. That's, that's cheating. You're getting free points. And that is in like a $30 million tournament, right? To qualify. And they did end up qualifying because Epic Games only banned them for two weeks. And that is an actual competitive setting. They literally cheated in World Cup and they only got banned for two weeks and they were still able to compete and qualify after. And a lot of people can say there wasn't enough evidence or whatever, but I mean, the evidence was pretty damning. I mean, you, at the time, everybody saw that it was pretty, pretty dumb. Like, they cheated. Like, it is what it is. Doesn't mean they're the worst people on the planet Earth. It doesn't mean that they're scum of the Earth, but it just, they cheated and they deserve to be banned, you know? It's just what happens. Maybe not banned for life, but maybe at least banned for the rest of the competition. They can't qualify, or maybe just banned from competitive, I mean, or something, you know? The two-week ban just seemed very light, and it's totally not consistent with the way that they banned Jarvis. I mean, Jarvis got banned for life? For life? For making a video with Aimbot when he had no actual malicious intent. And it's not like he did it in a competitive game either. It was just in a normal casual game, which is still wrong. Doesn't mean it's right. But I'm just saying that the, the two punishments don't make sense to me. Like, it's like they're so, they were so strict and harsh for the, I mean, aimbot is really bad because like, it, it's aimbot. You know, and Epic Games doesn't want people thinking you can just do aimbot. But it's just like cheating in a $30 million tournament and then like cheating in a public game. Of course, there's different levels to it. But it, to me, it just... It just isn't fair. Like, I don't know. I, that's my opinion. A lot of people are going to be like, Well, no Kiwis, you're an idiot. You have no idea what you're talking about. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's just my opinion. It could be, I could be wrong. It doesn't matter, but that's just how I feel. You know what I mean? I don't know. It just sucks, man. It just, just really sucks for Jarvis because now he can't really do anything. And I'm sure Epic Games won't revoke his punishment. And he's either going to have to just keep making new accounts every single time he wants to make a video, which is totally possible. All right, this guy's over here. It's totally possible for him to do that, you know what I mean? But, all right, so we're going to fight this guy real quick. I'm probably going to die to him. I haven't really been focusing at all. All right, crack the shield. GG's, buddy. Just going to take height from you real quick. Hit you white. Okay, switch it around. That man just fell to his death. That was pretty sick, guys. But anyway, you guys know what I'm saying. You know, I just I just feel so bad. Because, dude, it's it's not even just about, like... It's just his... That's his career. Like, he literally just made a video for fun. And not really ex understanding the consequences. And not really fully getting it. That just sucks. It goes to show... I mean, Epic Games is not playing around. Like, you can't... You can't break the terms of service with Epic Games. They have no chill. It doesn't matter who you are. And I guess that's just a, a thing to learn from, you know? Like, just just don't break the rules in Fortnite. Don't do anything stupid, you know? You could get your support creator taken away. You could get banned. You could... It doesn't matter, dude. And they got no chill. It's their game. They can do whatever they want. It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what the community thinks. They can do whatever. They could add mechs tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, they can literally do whatever they want. It's just how it is, so... 
that's my thoughts. I, I hope Jarvis is able to play and make videos again because that is really just the worst thing ever. And I, I can't imagine. Like, if I was not able to make videos and stuff, that would just literally kill me inside. So, I hope the best. And um, hopefully, I don't know, maybe he'll be able to play soon or something. I don't know. No idea. Oh, shoot! Oh my god, I'm being third party from every angle. Dude, holy shit! Dude, everyone's here, bro! Everyone! The whole lobby! Oh my god, holy sh- Dude, bro, what just happened? There's like five people there! Holy crap! Well, I just got absolutely pooped on, but I mean, that's that's basically it. You know, I just- I, I don't really care about winning in this video. I just kind of wanted to- have some background for me talking about the whole situation. What do you guys think? Comment down below and uh, go give some, go give Jarvis some support on his channel and his Twitter and stuff because, you know, it's a, uh, it's a sad story. You know, it really is. It's tragic. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. What are your thoughts? Comment them down below. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. It's Pretty Boy Kiwis, and I'm out. Peace.